Hey guys, Tony Soy Sass Assassin, welcome to another cigar review. So today, I was very, I don't know, I feel very lazy. And I'm supposed to do the Gurkha Yield the Dragon review, but like I, I procrastinated and next thing you know, it's middle of the night. I don't have it really prepared. But like, I was like, if I have to suffer a Gurkha today, I will settle some old requests first while I'm at it. So today, we are smoking the Gurkha Revenant Maduro box pressed. Okay, and that's a Robusto. Now, I already didn't start well because um, you'll see what I mean once I. We, we, let's take a look very close on this cigar first, okay? This cigar is very, very, very thickly. I don't know, like heavily pressed. It's like a rectangle rather than a box, you know? It's a rectangle. I uh, pressed down very, very tight. This feels very, very tight. The leaves are very rough and powdery, and the back of the band is literally glued onto the leaf, as you can see right here. So yeah, there's, there's I do not look forward to it. it. The only thing different about this is the band is not a typical Gurkha band with a guy with a you know, knife and stuff like that. It's like two king of, king of queen, um, uh look so like like a skull so yeah with that being said <clears throat> let's get started this is for jeff bay not that he will watch this but this is for jeff bay jeff bay because he won't stop talking about this cigar jeff bay all right anyways There's not much smell to it. That's weird. Anyway, um, before we cut in light, I mean, I really don't have like a like I, I'm procrastinating to smoke this thing. So let's let's start with a little bit of information on it, right? So this is by a, a five by fifty robusto box breast. Uh, it's got a Mexican San Andreas wrapper, Cameroon binder, and a filler made out of like a hybrid tobacco growing in DR and Nicaraguan called the T13 something and that's pretty much it and uh, yeah it doesn't have a, smell, a lot of smell the, the, the leaf feels very powdery <sighs> being a good car I really don't want to smoke it but only way to really judge its worth is by smoking it I think this cigar is about $7.50 so we'll start at that point Cold draw. A leafy, leathery bitterness, almost like a medicine of some sort. Tastes like, I don't know, acetaminophen of some sort. Um, kind of like a bitterness. And then leafy. Yeah. Why do you do this to yourself, Tony? <clears throat> but yeah, tomorrow I have to do the Yield the Dragon. Because if I keep procrastinating, I'll never get it done. All right. The flavor is a lot. Oh, okay. I'm going to separate this a little bit. Mm. 
this like really dark leafy wet dampness this like mustiness to it some sort of spice a little bit of mineral bitterness saltiness yeah that that's like like i said it tastes like kind of like a medicine bitterness but it's got a good note it's got this really nice damp musty leafiness to it and then it goes through this mineral like saltiness and then gets to this like medicine bitterness i don't know could this be good i mean it's, i mean i'm impressed with the amount of flavor in here it's not bad all right speak too soon after that There is that earthiness, tastes like feet, but the good note is still there and the bitter note is also still there. So let it fight it out. We'll see if that goes well or goes the other way. Yeah, I'll be right back. One third. Okay, um, about one third. I'm, I'm not roughly the way it's there. I, I, I want to jump in right now because I'm trying to figure out what the first third tastes like. It kind of tastes like somewhat masked version of a like a coffee cocoa woodsiness cigar and that then get covered by some mineral and earthiness and a little bit of bitterness and a really weird sweetness that is just not nicely put together but it's all there like at times, the cocoa chocolate gets a little bit of sweetness. At times, the earthiness gets a sweetness. At times, that bitterness gets sweetness. It's just weird combination. It's interesting, but I don't know if it works for me. I even didn't really taste the chocolate of the cigar until I start drinking some coffee. So once I drink coffee, the coffee taste in the cigar gets masked over and I start tasting chocolate. I was like, okay, that there's chocolate. And then I drink some of the soda and then I taste coffee. So I know this in there, but it's so weirdly masked and watered down that it's just kind of like, where is it? That earthiness, the signature Gurkha earthiness is there. It's not as much, but it's still kind of changed the flavor. And the, and the flavor at first was pretty strong. Like in the first few puffs was pretty strong. And then it went down to just very, very mild uh, uh, flavor. So it's like very light. You had to look for it. And then you get the median strength roughly to the cigar. So I think it's a good concept. They're trying to do something different. But for the first third, I will say good, good concept, lacking delivery, if that makes sense. Good concept, lacking delivery. Could have been a really good cigar, I think. So let me continue to smoke this and see if that improved. Um, my main worry is when it gets to that band, because the band is glued onto the leaf. I wonder how much it would destroy the leaf. But that's the last third, so we'll see. Be right back. All right, second third. <clears throat> I feel like all the flavors start to get a little bit stronger, but that also include that medicine taste. And if people don't know what med that medicine taste tastes like, really just go find your home and see the medicine, you know, Tylenol when you're sick and basically just crush into powder and just put it on your tongue. Don't put a lot, you know, it, it will be okay. But that's what it tastes like. And, and then you also have that earthiness that is basically all the flavor ends up with that earthiness so i don't know what they did basically they have good flavor good flavor and then bad flavor goes by could have been a really good cigar though could have been a really good cigar however 750 all right 
I already said before, every cigar taste uh, is uh, good or bad worth at least six dollar. So with this interesting flavor, I will give it seven fifty. That that's fine. I I don't like it all that much, but it is a great improvement for a standard Gurkha already. I still don't like it, but it's great improvement for Gurkha. It burns really fast. Oh, yeah. I always ends with that. No, I don't know why. No matter how slow I smoke it, but it burns really fast. So laster. Uh, but why? Well, before that, let's let's take a look at this band. This band is very different than their traditional band, which I think it's a good idea that they change it because I really don't like that look of the Gurkha guy thingy. You know, I don't know why they choose that. It's kind of I to me it's ugly. Like you guys don't know how much glue they put on this thing. It's a lot of glue. There's so much glue that there you can actually see a glue that kind of leaking onto the side. That's how much glue they put on. So I see if you don't. Like glue is free, man. Uh, but I'm gonna try to. Ah uh, no. Come on. As you guys can see, I'm having a little trouble getting this off. Right, okay, okay. Close, close. See, that's how much glue they they put a lot, a lot of glue on here. All right, here we go. It looks like uh. King and Queen kind of deal. Ah, that ripped. King and Queen kind of deal. And it says... Established 1887. MMX. Seven. And... Uh, age 13 years. What else is this on there? Rare release, which is kind of weird because it's everywhere. It's not really rare. So, yeah. That's what I got out of it. Let's finish last stir and go to summary. Be right back. All right, just finished the cigar. I think the cigar is a great improvement from all the Gurkha so far that I smoked. It really does have flavor, but it ends terrible. It starts great. The flavor, every puff starts great. Tasty, a lot of flavor, and then ends with that bitter note, ends with that that earthiness, that mineral, that bitterness. Uh, it might serve as a good cleanser because that lingers until you take the next puff, covers it up, and then that again. So, you know, 750, okay, I can see a 750. I don't want to give it more because uh, for me, it wasn't that enjoyable. It was like, oh, this is interesting. But it wasn't like, oh, yeah, now it's time for a box. No, it doesn't. Like, I don't even go, it's time for a three pack. You know, it's it's interesting, but under deliver, uh, whatever they will try to play with those, those hybrid, uh, I don't think it did well. Now, maybe you let this sit for additional time. That bitterness might go away. But this thing is already aged for 13 years. It keep aging and this thing will have nothing left. So... Did the price it right? Yeah. $750. I'll let you have $750. But that will be the only time you have $750 because I won't buy this again. Uh, because I don't like how it ends. It's like. So imagine eating a steak that's really, really tasty. But every time after you bite down the, the flavor and everything, it ends with some sort of gaminess. Like a fish. Like if you eat fish. Um, when you eat it, at first it was good, and then it ends with that dirt. You know, when the, when the fish don't get fed well, they start eating dirt and poop. Their meat tastes like earthy and dirt and like just really bad. It's like that. Like you get good flavor and then you end with a bad flavor. That that's that's what I got out of it. Yeah. And at time, it has this raw taste to it, like a rotten taste. Not every puff. I'm, I think I only got like three puff of that, and then the rest is fine. So yeah, seven fifty. You can have it, but that will be it. I won't buy it again. So as if my facial expressions haven't say anything yet. You know, it is what it is. I don't like it. I think it's interesting. I just don't like it. Some people might like it, just not me. All right. So that's it for this particular review. I hope you like it. If you like it, make sure to like, subscribe. And, and comment and share. If you like uh, early access to videos, make sure to join. 
uh, the membership. And that will be it. I smoke it, so we don't have to. <laughs> All right, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.